The Hydrostar Pro Pulse machine that you have bought is for the treatment of hyperhidrosis of the hands, feet and the axilla or armpits. It should not be used if you are pregnant, have a cardiac pacemaker or similar device or if you have a metal orthopaedic implant. Iontophoresis with tap water alone is successful in about 85% of people who suffer from hyperhidrosis of the hands and feet and about 70% successful for those who suffer from hyperhidrosis of the axilla. Those who do not respond to tap water alone can add an anticholinergic drug such as glycopyromium bromide. This is available on prescription and if you would like a treatment protocol for this, please contact the hyperhidrosis support group. The support group can also give you further information on other treatments for hyperhidrosis if you require it. The recommended protocol of seven treatment sessions over a four-week period must be adhered to when using tap water iontophoresis for the first time and then, as and when necessary, just as soon as the sweating recommences. It is important that another treatment session is done just as soon as the hands, feet or axilla become clammy and are not fully sweating as the treatment will be more successful if this is done. For some people, this is necessary twice a week. For others, monthly sessions will be all that is required. With time, you will find that you are able to maintain your hyperhidrosis with frequent maintenance sessions. First week, treatment on day one, day two and day four. Second week, treatment on day seven and day 10. Third week, treatment on day 15. Fourth week, treatment on day 22. The Hydrostar Pro Pulse machine automatically defaults to a pulsed current when turned on. For treatment of the hands and feet, we recommend that you try DC current first, and if you are unable to tolerate a current higher than 10 milliamps, then we suggest you use pulsed current. To switch from pulsed to DC current, depress the pulse button. No light will be shown, which means that the machine will be in DC mode. Pulse current is ideal for those with sensitive skins and we recommend it is always used when treating the axilla. In pulsed current mode, the perception of the current flow is less for the user, which therefore allows higher treatment currents for sensitive people with equivalent therapeutic results. I'll now demonstrate how to set up the Hydrostar Pro Pulse. Treatment may begin with hands only, feet only, axilla only, or hands and feet together. Ensure all jewellery and body piercings are removed. The current never travels above the neck, so amalgam fillings and earrings don't pose a problem with iontophoresis. The skin surface to be treated must be free of all lesions. If any are present, cover with a small amount of petroleum jelly, such as Vaseline. Petroleum jelly blocks the current, so ensure not to put too much on. We suggest that use of aluminium chloride antiperspirants be discontinued at least 48 hours prior to treatment and that areas to be treated are not shaved for three days before treatment. When the feet alone are treated, the total time is 30 minutes, two sequences of 15 minutes. For the hands only, the treatment time is 20 minutes, two sequences of 10 minutes. And when the hands and feet are treated, the total time is 20 minutes, two sequences of 10 minutes. For treatment of the axilla, the total time is 20 minutes, two sequences of 10 minutes. Hands or feet underwater or application of wet axilla pads allow the current to connect. The current reading will remain on zero or not go above four milliamps if this connection is not made. Please note that the power may increase without help by approximately one to three milliamps every two minutes or so. This can be manually or remotely adjusted if necessary. The hands and feet must remain in the baths at all times when the current is running. If you do remove your hands or feet from the baths during treatment, turn off the machine and start the protocol again. We recommend that you do not put your hands or feet back in the baths. The power should never be increased beyond 20 milliamps, though most people will find this level of current too high. Many people can only tolerate much lower levels and the treatment can be just as successful at these lower levels. The optimum level is between 15 and 20 milliamps. To recharge the battery, plug the lead of the power supply into the machine on the right hand side and then place the plug into the main socket. When switched on, the mains red light will come on. This red light only indicates that the machine is on mains charge and does not indicate that the battery is fully charged.